So we've seen a number of our customers actually deploy, you know, online experiments with their models um, in production to see, okay, you know, if we use GPT 3.5 or GPT 4, which performs better? Does it matter, you know, on different devices disproportionately or in different regions? Um, and measuring that against real world metrics and benchmarking against things like cost or device performance or latency. Um, and so we have a number of customers doing that and we didn't really plan on that. It just started happening um, and it was pretty cool. And so we're kind of doubling down on that and seeing where we can empower those customers more. On the second, how we incorporate Gen AI, I think this comes back to, um, or we think about it in terms of democratization. So, you know, if you think about data, in the past you had to be a SQL wizard in order to access your data and mine it for insights. And with tools like Amplitude or Mixpanel um, or Statsig, you know, increasingly you can be just a PM or an engineer and poke around with a few tools and get insights that inform what you build next. And the next step of that, if you just project that out, is not even needing to query and to know what questions to ask, but to have the tool actually tell you, hey, you know, we've noticed that year over year, you, this data looks a little bit different. There's an anomaly here in this region. Maybe you should double click on that. Um, have it be conversational where you can just say, I'm curious, you know, how's the Mexican market performing or how is my business in Brazil doing? Um, and I think once you have a data set, to build on top of, that's a huge opportunity. So we'll be exploring that in the future as well. Yeah, good. Gustavo, that's one of the things you and I have actually talked about over the last few months is just the amount of data that's out there and the amount of tools to access the data and the way people do it. There's a lot of inefficiency in the system and I know you spend a lot of your time looking for the efficiencies in the system. How, how do you think about that? Well, I think we're in a very privileged moment in time where during prior times, the answer to your question would be, we try to optimize things. We try to see what's broken, what could be improved, and we work on that. I think the reason we're so lucky right now is we can make problems go away in ways that we couldn't before. If you wanted to be an aviator in 1920, maybe you could aspire to it, but there wasn't gonna be an, an opportunity for you to be a pilot. Welcome to the future.